I'd say the biggest thing is having a place to belong and feeling welcomed. And when we came to St. Phillips and we saw uh, the inclusivity, um, the different types of people who were here, while we're kind of recovering from the pandemic, the efforts to include JB in uh, the, the, one, the, the, the monthly children's service, that was a big deal. The sincere effort to, uh, to engage and make the youth feel important um, and at the same, through the acolytes, and then at the same time, the services that Lisa, Lisa's doing to, 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 you know, grow their, their spiritual journey and help them along that is, is also very important. The, the, the sincere and genuine effort to, to have children's ministry. The traditions of the Episcopal Church uh, are very, very, very important to us, and having JB have a place to come and grow in his spiritual journey within the church uh, is important. Having a, a place for him to be able to experience vacation Bible school, children's church, uh, happening, EYC, Camp Bratton Green, like those, ha having a place that will help facilitate that is, is really important. This is new for JB, and we want to support and pledge um, so that he has the opportunity to, to be excited about coming to church. Um, and pledging to us means uh, providing, providing the church the resources to invest in children's church, to invest in EYC, invest all the things that's going to keep him excited about coming to church. So far, the two things that really, um, that really helped engage him is he likes the, the, the looser informal side of going into the children's chapel and doing the activities and being excited about it, and he's really like that. Um, on the other side of it, as we introduce him to the more, you know, tra you know traditional forms of the church, um, the embrace that St. Phillips has shown as even reaching out to someone as young as six to be a part of the Acolyte program um, and get him involved. He feels so, he feels so much a part of what's happening when he does it. He takes his job so seriously. And, um, and he feels included in the community when he does that. And he gets excited about it. And when he's excited about coming, it's, it's, it's a nice thing. But I think he does feel like a sense of this is where he is. And he feels a sense of like, when I come here, I see certain people, um, which, uh, he's, he, which is good for him. Um, and what, what's really nice as a parent is that he gets excited about both, about both roles. He gets excited about like today coming here and just getting to go across the hall and, and have that, you know, that service that's geared towards him. But he also gets really excited about coming and, and getting in his acolyte robes and carrying the gospel, you know, and, and having that job that's, you know, a part of the, the larger community. He gets excited about both and it's nice to see that.